soldered RAMs. What does that mean? When we talk about a laptop that has soldered RAMs, that means that the RAM is literally glued to the motherboard. With some exceptions like the new MacBooks that have the RAM memory integrated into the CPU. As opposed to the other type of types of laptops that have the RAM on SODIMs, those small DIMMs with those small RAM modules. Now, laptops basically when we're talking from the point of the type of RAM installed can be of three types. Uh, laptops with soldered RAMs or glued or however you like to call them, if, even if they are in the CPU, the memory is still not upgradable. Laptops that have soldered RAM, let's say 4 gigs, 8 gigs or, and so on, and another slot or two of SODIMs so you can upgrade the memory if needed. And laptops that come only with SODIMs, so that means even the pre-installed RAM is actually a RAM module or two depending on the specific model. Now what would be the pros of soldered RAM? Well there are a couple of pros. The laptop can usually be thinner, um, maybe more energy efficient and even more performant in some cases by only a small margin, sometimes not, not noticeable. And it really depends on the uh, manufacturer's implementation. But soldered RAMs can also sometimes be more durable as opposed to the possible bad things that could happen with a small dim slot. The cons are that if you have soldered RAM and that's it and no uh, memory slots, you can no longer upgrade your RAM memory. So you would need to buy as much as you need directly. You have to think ahead a little. In 2024, I would not buy a RAM with less than 16 gigabytes of memory because that memory, 16 gigabytes of RAM, ensure that you have plenty even if things might get more uh, complicated in the future. And it even allows for light video editing and stuff, but if you know you want to do video editing, photo editing, graphic work, or other intense stuff on your laptop, go directly for 24 or 32 gigabytes of RAM, just to, to be on the safe side. And we can't always fault or just throw away a laptop and never think of it as an option just because it has soldered RAM. Because, let's face it, if you made a wise purchase, and you have brought enough RAM from the start, so you have, I don't know, 32 gigabytes of soldered RAM or 16, chances are that in a couple of years, not RAM is, the issue is not going to be the fact that you're running out of memory, but your CPU will lag behind, your GPU will lag behind. I mean, things become more demanding over time, so your CPU will probably be the first left behind on some productivity apps or like video editing and stuff. And the GPU in terms of gaming will be the other one that will be left behind. So most likely if you have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, your next issue will be that you will want a new laptop because you want a new GPU. And GPUs in laptops are not upgradable, just like CPUs are not. Okay, there are some exceptions, but I'm not going to go into that. We're talking about general the majority of the models out there. And yes, while you could give more life to an old laptop or one that is getting left behind because of performance issues using Linux and various distributions that eat a lot, a lot less resources than Windows or alternatives, that's not always possible. I mean, sometimes you just need an upgrade and you can't avoid that. So have that in mind before discarding a laptop just because it has soldered RAM. So how can you find out if a certain model you want to buy or your actual laptop has soldered RAM? Well, the easiest way is to look on the manufacturer's website if they might say something. And the other way, the harder way, is to Google it. Just try to buy a RAM upgrade for the specific model. You'll probably find if find out if the laptop doesn't support any new modules and it has solder RAMs or other issues that prevent you from upgrading RAM. Don't forget that even if you do have SODIMS laptop memory slots on in your laptops, there is a finite 
memory you can have. I mean, not any CPU supports 64 gigabytes of RAM or more. And most likely you won't need that much anyway. So yeah, that's it with the soldered RAM on laptops. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to be the first to find out when I release a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.